what this is. Kevin Durant in a Brooklyn Net uniform. But according to the general manager of the Nets, Sean Marks, don't get used to seeing this anytime soon or at all in the 1920 season. With Kevin, I think what we're going to say is his, the expectations are that he'll be out for the year. Um, we're not going to plan on him playing. His rehab will obviously uh, be predetermined by, you know, over the course of the next few months, how he goes with our performance team and so forth. But ultimately, Kevin will have a large say in, you know, when he comes back and how he's feeling. But the expectations now are for him to be out, of, out for the year. Our attention shifts to players coming back from injuries. 3D, let's start with Kevin Durant. You, you got to believe there's going to be some rumors, right? Even though Sean Marks is shutting it down, at some point. Jerry, where are you from? Uh, maybe the Tri-State area. Tri yes. yeah. Come on, guys, let's call it what it is. There's going to be somebody in that New York area that's going to see Kevin Durant working out. Kevin Durant's going to let him in. They're going to say, hey, man, if the Nets can get to the second round of the playoffs, mm -hmm. Smitty, and Durant's dunking, looking great. Will, will you, New Yorkers, stop it? KD, don't let nobody in your workouts. Just take the whole year off, get 100%, come back to being that guy we know you can be, and then we we'll applaud you for being a great player. But I say it again because this guy's from up New York. Someone's going to bring it up, Smitty. Someone's going to stir the pot, and it's not going to be what right for KD. Last time? Well, well, what what come last on. Time I will played. say I love what Sean Mark said. Yeah. He said we have no expectations, right. but then he did say it's up to Kevin Durant. I mean, what are you going to do, Sam, if Kevin Durant says I'm ready in March? No. Yes, and he said, I'm playing. No. Well, we're going to see. Who <laughs> right. that exactly. That's right. what I'm saying. I'm and and, and, that, and, that, somebody, and yeah. that somebody is likely to be Kevin Durant well, is the guy who's going to say Players it. are always going to want to play. And and that's how say. we're built. Right. But when you're in management, Ernie Granfield taught me one thing my first day as a coach. He said, understand something. When we're in this room with the players, we're the adults in the room. Okay, yeah. we make the final decision. The players are supposed to be wired that oh. way. That's why they're great. They want to play hell or high water, thick or thin, through any kind of injury. They think they can do it, but they, as they, management. They're the Warriors, I don't know this, say Kevin Durant should or shouldn't play. I still think he was going to play. Okay, and he did, and what happened? And, and yes, but it's I think. Our job in management mm -hmm. is to protect you, the players, from yourself, and that's what we I, love I totally about you. I totally agree, Sam. Flip you say this all the time. Your biggest strength is your biggest weakness. And as players, what are our biggest strength? Mm -hmm. The desire to play and compete. What's our biggest weakness? The desire to play and compete. You're injured. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant has suffered a possible career in the injury. Let him take this year. I totally Let agree. him get yeah. fully well, What if he said he wants to play? Well, again, that's why I just paid you all this money, and I'm going to say, no, you're not going to play. You just get mad. I can't, all you want, I can't wait. But you're yeah. not going to play. Yeah, in today's yeah. player empowerment movement, treating the player like the child in that situation doesn't it's align with him, the thinking. It's not treating him like a child, but you're doing the responsible thing. You just saw what happened to Kevin Durant right. when he came back in Golden State. Right. So why are you going to do the same thing and risk an injury when you have three more years with Kyrie and this roster that you think can compete for a championship? Let him take the year off. All right, let, let's move on to a couple other guys here. H how much of an impact, Smitty, can Clay Thompson make when he comes back at some point halfway through the year? Well, Clay comes back and he's still going to be Clay Thompson. And I love this kid. I mean, he's going to attack his rehab. He's going to attack all his workouts. And we know his game. It's not athletic. He's 6'7". He makes shots. And I just want to know about on Clay Thompson, how would it affect him defensively? But I think he'll be fine offensively. And quickly, really under-talked about, Paul George had double so shoulder surgery yes. this offseason. How concerned are you? I I'm very concerned. As much as I love Paul George and Kawhi Leonard going there, but depending on how long it takes for him to get back on the court and to get back in the PG-13 form, is a little concerning. And keep in mind, Nate McMillan saying the other day as well, Victor Oladipo will not be ready for opening night. We'll see how much longer too, he yeah. is out as well. Coming back with much more, our predictions. What is our biggest storyline of the year? Fellas, let us know when we return. Mm. And it is looking into our crystal ball. Stan Mitchell, let's start with you. What, what is going to be the biggest storyline that will have us talking in the 2019-2020 NBA season? Man, I, it's got to be what's going on in L.A. Mm -hmm. You got two teams. You got LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard, Anthony Davis, and Paul George in the same building. Mm. That's got to be big right there because, again, for the battle of the soul of L.A. I love it, Sam. Let's not overthink this, right? It is the second biggest media market, and it's got four of the best players in the world. All right, so 3D, let's overthink it then. 
Uh, I'm overthinking. I'm going to go to Dallas on y'all. With the Don and the Unicorn now coming back from his injury, can Rick Carlisle figure out that young talent and get them going? I'm with Sam. I think the storyline is L.A., but just to shake it up, where is Giannis playing after this year? Whoa! Whoa! Storylines. Oh, staring at us. Many. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Can we find him for Shake tampering? It up. No, we can't. No, we, we be tired. Him. We be tired. <laughs> we be tired. For the entire NBA TV family. Find me. Steve Smith. That is Scott. I'm Jared Greenberg. Enjoy the season. We forecasted it for you. Hey, y'all.